Hey everybody, what's up? It's Joel, AKA The Daily Guru, and it's time for another edition of Something Old, Something New. Today for Something Old, we're gonna check out an absolutely essential album. It's 1979 and Joy Division's Unknown Pleasures. This album, in many ways, is the be-all, end-all of the post-punk movement, as it not only defines the subgenre, but it also sets the high watermark that remains to this day. From the very first moments of this album, the dejected, detached moods are perfectly in place, and it's the way that the band manages to blend these desolate feelings with undeniably catchy hooks that makes the record so fantastic. Guitarist and keyboardist Bernard Sumner is an absolute genius, and every second of this album proves that. But at the same time, it's those looming bass lines from Peter Hook that you can cite as influencing everyone from the Melvins, to Nirvana, to Primus, to almost any band that plays with mood since then. Capped off by the iconic vocals of Ian Curtis, and the fact of the matter is, Unknown Pleasures is outright untouchable. It's his dry, often eerie delivery that would serve as the basis for so many later singers, and you can see his style as the epitome of both the goth and emo style, as he manages to pull it off at every turn without even remotely becoming cliche. From end to end, Unknown Pleasures remains in a category all its own, and no other record in history has been able to make such dark, disturbing sounds come off as so beautiful and often romantic as you'll find on this album. Oh, and for the record, that iconic cover, in case you didn't know it, it's actually the visual transcription of a star going supernova. So if somehow Unknown Pleasures isn't currently holding a prominent place in your collection, go out and change that right now. Thank me later. Today for something new, we're gonna check out the brand new release from Big Crit, and it's called Live From The Underground. I'll admit it, I am as openly cynical and skeptical of the current hip hop scene as anyone on the planet, as for the most part, I find it to be rather uninspiring, predictable, and just disappointing. However, a good friend of mine who's really deep into the current world of hip hop has been pushing and hyping this release to me for weeks, so I had no other choice but to check it out. And strangely enough, I enjoyed what I found. Quite a bit, in fact. The first thing that stood out to me about this record is the fact that every single song has a unique, original, and well-constructed musical background. And in many ways, this uniqueness does a perfect job of representing that classic Southern style of hip hop that was prominent for the first half of the last decade. The sequencing on this record is outright fantastic, as there's a smooth flow from one track to the next, which is almost unheard of within any era of hip hop music. Each of these musical tracks pulls you in in a different way, and the fact that there's so much sonic range on this album keeps things in engaging and exciting for nearly the entire record. The other big plus here is the fact that the vocals are very crisp and clear on every single track, allowing you to discover the fact that this guy can write one hell of a lyric, and he's able to quickly move beyond the money, drugs, hoes themes that have destroyed much of the hip hop scene over the past decade. Big Crit also manages to strike an ideal balance between letting the songs be gritty enough and rough enough to sound underground and appeal to that audience, but at the same time the tracks are polished and professional enough to have a lot of mainstream appeal. In short, he's He's managed to create a record that can be enjoyed just as much by elitist hip hop snobs as it can by posers driving down the street trying to blow out their car speakers. And on the buy it or borrow it, I'm glad to say it, it's easy. This one's an absolute buy it. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you dug it. If you did, go ahead and click subscribe, leave a comment, click like, whatever you want to do. Remember that if you leave a comment here or you share this video via my Facebook page, you're automatically entered into a contest to win at least four of the albums I recommend at the end of the month. If you want to email me, you can do that at thedailyguru at gmail.com and check out my website where every single day I talk about the greatest music of all time at thedailyguru.net. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr right here, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Hey!